The National Super Alliance, NASA, leaders and supporters on Friday engaged police in fierce confrontations during demonstrations against the Electoral Commission as Nairobi City Center remained under a lockdown. Police shot in the air several times to disperse the group that at some point clashed with rival members of the Nairobi business community. Clash Police and NASA supporters clashed along Mwavenu and at the General Post Office as the protesters tried to force their way into the central business district. All this while, the MPs, led by Siaia Senator James Orengo, Degaretti North MP Simba Arati and other leaders, remained in their cars as supporters marched along the streets. The protesters unsuccessfully tried to reach the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, IEBC offices at Anniversary Towers. Earlier at the NASA Secretariat at Capitol Hill, Mr. Orengo led the MPs in a press conference criticizing the directive by acting Interior Cabinet Secretary Fred Mashangai to ban the demonstrations from the CBD. The MPs, who had mooted plans to sneak through the city center while riding inside their cars, were forced to scamper after police lobbed tear gas at the group. Dispersed the leaders then converged around the General Post Office on Kenya Avenue before anti-riot police dispersed them. And it was at Mwavenu, on their way to the EBG headquarters, that the group faced the fierce confrontation between supporters and members of the Nairobi business community. The business community smashed some of the MP's car windows and hurled stones at the vehicles. Police shot in the air several times and lobbed tear gas canisters at the two rival groups paying for each other's blood. Businesses remained closed for the better part of the afternoon as the confrontations were ongoing. Peaceful Demo Earlier at the Capitol Hill office, Mr. Orengo accused Dr. Mashangai of subverting the will of the people to demonstrate peacefully. He denied reports that NASA supporters were responsible for looting businesses and destroying properties and cars during protests. Whenever demonstrations are called, it is the responsibility of the police to provide security and bar criminals from taking advantage of the situation. Those responsible for destroying businesses were not NASA supporters but criminal elements, Mr. Orengo said.